Hi and welcome to this online demonstration of how to install James Hardy Axon cladding. Designing and building a sleek looking home that can handle any type of weather is all about the details. So let's see how it's done. To start off, you'll need Axon cladding sheets in the preferred profile to the correct quantity, 2.8 by 40 millimeter fiber cement nails, or ND 50 millimeter stainless steel brad nails. Brad nails can only be used up to N3 and C1 wind classification. 50 millimeter wide foam back sealing tape. James Hardy joint sealant. Preferred corner accessories. Refer to the Axon installation manual for all options. 75 by 75 color bond corner flashing. 9 millimeter aluminium horizontal H joiner for joining two horizontal H flashings. And the Hardy wrap weather barrier. Tools you'll need will be spirit level, drill, hardy blade saw blade or comparable fibre cement blade, dust reducing saw, vacuum extraction with filter appropriate for capturing fine respirable dust, story rod and your PPE. So safety first guys, make sure you always wear a P1 or P2 dust mask, standard PPE, make sure you're always cutting outside in a well ventilated area. Tell people in the immediate area that there will be dust and never cut indoors. When using a power saw, make sure you always have a dust extraction system attached to the saw. For more details, check out the James Hardy Safety Data Sheet. Okay guys, it's now time to prep. So you can use timber or steel frame, doesn't matter. Just make sure everything is straight, plumb and level before you put your cladding boards on. Okay guys, so generally internal and external corners have additional framing requirements. It's very important to get these flashings on prior to the cladding. In this instance, we're using the aluminium box corner accessory. Okay, when doing the set out for the boards, make sure the shiplap joint lands on a 45 mil stud. If it's a 35 mil stud, you just have to add another one. The Axon sheets will be fixed vertically and just make sure you've got fixings around all four edges of the sheet. Install the hardy edge trim underneath the sarking and it needs to be 20 to 50 millimeters past the slab. Okay, next we've installed our hardy wrap over our flashing or your hardy edge trim. Make sure you have the right fasteners. For steel frames, fasteners may be overdriven by two to three mil and filled with mega epoxy P1. Then covered with James Hardy base coat and sanded smooth. Axon uses a double ship lap joint. Ensure that you install the underside lap first. You'll find by installing the sheets in this sequence, a flush outside surface is maintained. The boards have consistent groove intervals on the face. So when joining one sheet on top of the other, they will align. For more options on the accessories, just check out the James Hardy Axon installation manual.